Good morning and welcome to another Monday Coffee. I want to talk to you about something today that I've been thinking about a lot lately. I've been thinking about how our whole culture, our whole system, everything we swim and breathe in is built out of scarcity. That we are living in a world where it's based on uh, how little we have, how little you have, and there are people that have more so they could get more, but scarcity is what kind of drives all of it. For example, it is the idea that not everybody deserves a home because that, that would ruin the housing market, right? If we gave everybody a free home, that would ruin the whole housing market. Now, here's a vision that the kingdom of God gives, that maybe we should live our life out of abundance rather than scarcity. I primarily think of the story of Jesus when he feeds the 5,000, right? That he has two loaves and two fishes for 5,000 people. In anybody else's mind, you're thinking, that's not enough. There is scarcity. We cannot feed these, this many people. Maybe we should figure out which people we should feed. But in the kingdom of God, the way that Jesus changes it up, and the way that he shows us what the kingdom is supposed to look like is that there is actually abundance. It may look scarce, but there is an abundance of food. There's enough for everyone, more than enough. I think this is the story of the kingdom of God and the gospel. It keeps showing us that there is an abundance. There is enough for everyone. That's the whole reason why Jesus died on the cross, that Jesus is telling us, you don't have to prove yourself. I will make this sacrifice for you. You are enough. So whether it's in our own personal lives, our own personal feelings with God or with others, that sometimes we don't feel like we measure up, that's built out of scarcity. But instead, start thinking of yourself as enough. That God has created you for a specific purpose. That God thinks you are enough. That the kingdom of God thinks you're enough. That the kingdom of God is showing us that we are all enough. Well, how would the world be different if the church lived this out? Maybe it'd be like the early church where we started helping each other pay medical bills. Or we helped each other pay off debts. And that there was more than enough to go around. The kingdom of God is one of abundance, that nobody's left hungry, that nobody is left hurt or broken or bankrupt, that the kingdom of God, somehow there's enough for everyone. And to be the church, to be the church here and now, we are supposed to act out the kingdom of God. We are supposed to try our best to bring heaven to earth now. And so my question for you this week, how can you make that happen? It can be one of the smallest things. It could be buying somebody's cup of coffee today. It could be um, speaking words of encouragement to someone that doesn't think they're measuring up. It could be finding ways to encourage people, even when you don't agree with them, to continue to engage in the conversation. These are all the small ways that we can continue to show people that the kingdom of God is of abundance and not scarcity. And that's why at New Hope, we have an open table. That's why we say it is not a Presbyterian table, it's not New Hope's table, but it is God's table. All that want to come to it, you may come. We want to live out of abundance. So my prayer for you this week, live out of abundance rather than scarcity. Have a great week.